Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Midhavid Singh. I'm an emergency medicine specialist here in the UK and today we're going to be going through the top five medical negligence and personal injury claims in the United States of America. So let's get into it. At number five, we have a case from 2013 where the payout was 38.5 million US dollars. A gentleman known as Dale White suffered catastrophic brain injury and did not wake up from anesthesia. The doctors performed a procedure known as manipulation under anesthesia at the Atlantic Surgical Center. The doctor admitted that the procedure was unnecessary and it was also later found out that there were unethical reasons behind it. At number four, we have a case from 2018 and the compensation here was 43 million US dollars. Billy Pierce, a 61 year old gentleman, was misdiagnosed by a doctor who was on probation. And then he was left in a medically induced coma for over a month until other doctors then stepped in, made the correct diagnosis and then successfully performed Performed surgery to remove bile duct stone. The doctor was found guilty for medical malpractice and gross clinical negligence. Next, we have another case from 2018 where the compensation now has increased to 138 million US dollars. This is where a 10 year old girl known as Faith was left paralyzed after doctors improperly performed a procedure. This occurred at the Detroit Medical Center. She was brought in for surgery for scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine. So she was going to have correction of this to prevent it from getting worse. The surgeon inserted rods to straighten the spine as one would normally do, but in instead actually compress the spinal cord. The spinal cord, as you may know, is the key set of nerves that send fibers up and down the body. Compressing the spinal cord led to the damage that led to the paralysis. By the time the doctors realized this and removed the rods, the damage had already been done to the spinal cord and the damage had already been done to the nerve. At number two, we have a case from 2014 where the compensation was 172 million US dollars. The actual case was in 1998 when a 12 year old child known as Tiffany Applewhite suffered catastrophic brain damage. This occurred after receiving very bad advice from paramedics. Tiffany went into anaphylactic shock after her home nurse gave her a steroid injection to treat an eye infection. Her heart stopped and Tiffany's mum called 911. The EMTs arrived but they didn't have the correct equipment and medicines with them. Tiffany's mother wanted to take her to the nearest hospital to get urgent treatment but the EMTs advised her wait for an ambulance which had the advanced life support systems which took another 20 minutes to arrive. Now anybody knows if you're having an anaphylactic shock you will not even have a few minutes. Treatment has to be given straight away. At number one we have a case from 2006 and the compensation here was 216 million US dollars. Alan Navarro had a strong family history of strokes and his doctors failed to recognize that Alan himself was having a stroke. They misdiagnosed him with a sinus infection and sent him home. The very next day he needed emergency treatment for brain swelling. He stayed in a coma for almost three months there afterwards. Alan Navarro was a pro basketball player and unfortunately the consequences of this left him with severe brain damage and paralyzed. He's also left with limited cognitive ability and challenges with swallowing food safely. Worst thing about this was the doctor that made the initial diagnosis of a sinus infection was actually an unlicensed physician assistant. They weren't even a doctor. Well, as you can tell, all these cases were completely horrendous and catastrophic. As doctors, we like to do our best. We like to make the correct diagnosis. And that's how I like to practice medicine safely and correctly. So it's thankful that these types of cases are rare, but very sad when they happen. Well, I hope that was informative. And if you want to watch my other video of the largest medical negligence cases in the UK, then please check that out. And I'd like to see you all in the next video. So remember to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching.